that's it. Locks in today, I just found the fiver. Some tractor just shut down twice for some reason. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big breakdown. It's a drill working there. Today I'm going to go and put on the other plough, Dunk's got one plough, we've got two ploughs so I'll put on the second one, probably end up ploughing for a few days so I'll just chop the next few days into this one video. We're yoked up, we four fire on here, Kids, uh, Dunk's got the five fire on, I'll just head out and join him, we're in there, kilometre long field so just as well, he's got GPS, otherwise if I was doing it without GPS, it'd be like a snake. Right, we're off. Um, and the tractor just shut down twice for some reason. This tractor stopped again. It's not a good thing. I don't think it's ever done it before, just shut down. That's three times in the last 10 minutes. He's reaching for the manual. It's not good news. Anyway, I bet the plough's mating in together. So this wee four furrow doesn't seem to throw it as much or build it up as much and you sometimes get a groove between this plough's max and the next plough's so you'll get a groove in there but obviously there is no groove at the moment it's it's coming up pretty nicely there's a bit of a slope on this hill off that way so that might be throwing it a wee bit further but yeah you sometimes get a groove just along that edge but it's coming up really nice at the moment full disclosure i know nada about plowing a wee bit last year was the first time i was out plowing don't know how much plowing I'll do this year. Getting a fault code which comes up with cylinder one BIP search failure, something like that. And it's I think it's to do with the common rail injection pressure, either a sensor or the actual pressure is not right. Here comes Dad, he's got two fuel filters. We'll change these two. New filters on, primed it, and now it's well it's running anyway. Hopefully it keeps going now. So effectively what we've got here, the rut on the right there, that's from Dunk's last furrow. It leaves a kind of groove in the ground and then what's happening is my first furrow there is throwing the top, the stubble there that you see, into the, into the rut and then it's buried by soil that is underneath the stubble. And each furrow is doing that across the floor, so you're basically burying all the stubble that you see underneath fresh soil from below. It's a really good weed control. The weeds get buried, the weed seeds get buried, the barley seeds get buried, um, and it allows them not to then make it to the surface to grow. Do you like the speedo on this tractor? I'm currently going about six and a bit K. Just watching Dunk, he's picking up a stone. I've not got a stone grape, so I can't pick any of them up. We need to get another one of those, might make one through the winter. We're now heading off to yard number four. Leaving the area, yard number two, off to yard number four. We'll get a field done, well, the end rig of a field done over there, and then we'll nip back to this field. It's quite a big end rig, so we're both going to just get it done quickly. Okay, we'll get it drilled after that. So we're just gonna go and do down here, down the bottom and along the bottom of the field. It'll take a couple of hours. Well, about that. So Dunk's just stepped out that bit and there's 10 furs left, so he's got five furs, so he'll go down there and back up and that'll be that bit done. And I'll just keep going along the top, back and forward and just see how it figures out. Sheared the bolt there through here in the skimmer. It was kind of folded down, you can see. It's not put a good job up that bit, so just chapped it back into place. Grabbed a couple of bolts and tools off the cave because I don't have any tools in that toolbox in the tractor. It's really windy but new boat fitted so should be fine now. That's it, back in action. I need to remember I'm bringing some tools tomorrow. We're done in here, Dunk is just coming this way to finish this strip. Um, I'm not quite wide enough to eat into the grass. These margins are to be three meters and they've just, over the years, edged out a bit so we're taking them back a wee fraction 
and we're back, yard number two again, back to that big long kilometre field. Abandon that tractor here, headlong, back to yard number four and pick up the forklift. Right, back at yard number two now, which won't be changing now for a couple of days. It'll take a few days to finish that. And then I think that wee field down there, the den field it's called, we'll be doing as well. And there's another field on the other side of that. That's a wee set of the discs, and um, the discs on the front of Kebs. Drill tractor fell off, bolt snapped. Not been a huge lot to film for the last while, just been up, down, up, down. Chunks ahead there, we're getting through it, another kind of hour or so, an hour and a half, and then we'll back up shop. Kev's directly over there, he's now drilling in this field too. So we just keep going through this field, it's a big field. Question of the day, how long does it take to travel the length of this field? You should roughly be able to work it out, because I'm ploughing and I've told you the length of this field. I've started the timer all the way to that end there. How long is it going to take me? Assuming we don't have to stop for any stones or anything like that. Done for the evening. Just lift that up. That'll do. Turn it over, get rid of any soil that's kind of lingering. I want to spread it all over the yard. And go and pack it up and it'll do. Drill's packed up, Dad's just unloading some more seed that he's brought along the road. Dunk's just packing up and I'm about to pack up. Right, it's the next day, back ploughing again. Uh, I'm just heading into the field, Dunk and Kev are out there already get a good bit more. We should get all the long runs finished today and move into these shorter runs. Just trying to drag a stone out here. Quite a big one, so... Well, it's not that bad, but... I can't shift it by hand, so... You can see it, it's just in there. That'll do, don't forget it. had lunch but that's the difference between that plow and this plow so they're kind of slats these are boards rain's just kind of threatening at the moment you can see it in the distance there's no heavy rain forecast so hopefully we'll just stay clear of it we'll just get a wee shower and we'll be able to keep going fine bit of a big stone in here Hunk's just trying to dig it out see it catching in there It's a sizeable stone, don't know how far down it'll go. Forklift should just pull it out, but has been known not to. Surprisingly, the weld on the wheel here that I did a, a while back, I don't know, a month ago, maybe a bit over a month ago, it's held up. It's not fallen off again yet. Not yet. A bit rusty, but does the job. Here comes the forklift. So we'll get this stone out. huge, it was just well lodged in there. That's it. A wee bit of variation from the monogamous up, down, up, down, up, down. Locks in today, I just found a fibre. It's a new one as well. Must have been dropped this year. Making fine progress. Uh, this, we've kind of moved kind of into another field, but it's all going to be moved this year, so it's one big massive field. Um, Slightly kind of chuck of ground in there, and the few patches of kind of firmer soil, not as free as it was. Kind of over there, it was really nice and loose, but it's fine. It's 
the conditions are great and it's, it's easy. It's easy when it's like this. There's a bit of rain, you can see there in the windscreen, but not bad. Just making a quick sheltered spot so we can have a cup of tea outside. Cup of tea consumed, Kev's we off to fill up the hopper again. It's uh, about five o'clock now, a few more hours. And then we'll head back to the yard. Cattle to move tomorrow, so won't be, I won't be playing first thing. Tires come off the rim of the wheel on the back of the plow there. It's, I don't know what time it is, seven o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna take, the, take it off. There you go, there's obviously there's a ding there, you see it? Must have got a stone or something put in here. And it's just pierced that or dented that and it's let air seep out and then it's then come off the rim. So I'm actually just going to head home with this um, instead of driving home with my car. Anyway, other than the fact that this wheel's gone, but at least it was only kind of an hour. What's the time now? Let me check. Yeah, an hour before the end of the day, so it's actually worked out not awfully. So I'll take this home. That field is, the whole thing's going to be feet, basically that whole block. So that field's going to be 150 acres or so, just over 150 acre. Um, big block of wheat. So. Kev's probably got, I'd say about 60, 70, 60 acres done, maybe there or thereabouts. Um, so another couple of days, we'll get it all finished. And then more wheat to sow at, oh, there's a wheat field there to do with wheat as well. And then another few fields of wheat at home. Right, we're just getting this off. Good excuse to use my new torch. And stuff just like that need to chop that out and um, that presses through this shaft that runs through there and so that goes in between the shafts so the shaft can't rotate in this joint and then there's another bolt down there that pinches it together as well so it kind of fastens in two ways that's it off and I'll just take away well put away there Electrical tools, all these can just stay out here just now. Quality piece of kit. It's not got oodles of power when you're trying to torque something or loosen something off, but once it's just off a wee bit, you just crank everything off from there. Backed up. That air's loaded into the van. We'll get that round first thing in the morning. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe down in that corner and this corner. See you in the next video.